Archie here, Swift Game Rio. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. In today's Grand Theft Auto Online video, I'll be showing you the hidden details, secret features, and all the rest of the goodness here on Grand Theft Auto Online. If you do go on to like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Don't forget to go hit the little bell next to my name so you don't miss out on any future content just like this here on my channel. And if you do prefer, go over to Sad Puppy, just awesome music. I will leave a link down in the description down below and a little click to his channel if you do prefer to go and check him out and you can listen to his all his awesome content on his channel. Okay, let's kick off in today's Grand Theft Auto Online video. So the first thing that we're going to talk about today is a special vehicle races has been added to Grand Theft Auto Online. The special vehicle races in the new set of races which obviously includes the special vehicles from import and export and these can be launched from the pause menu job list or by entering one of the special race series triggers in free mode okay these little triggers in free mode i will leave a little picture on the screen so you can check that out uh, you'll see that on the screen that'll have a little uh, yellowy thing uh, next to uh, on the map if you do want to go into one of these special vehicles which is quick job or anything like that I will leave a little picture on the screen so you can actually see what it looks like if you haven't already seen it okay let's move on to the next one and a new vehicle has been added to Grand Theft Auto Online. This is the available to purchase from the Legacy Motorsports. And this is the Progen GP1, which is a great, great supercar right there. And also, moving on, as we were talking about before, the three new special races series triggers has been added to Grand Theft Auto Online. These use the same functionality as the stunt series triggers added with the cunning stunts, but feature the new special vehicles, which is a good, obviously a good, good option right there. If you do prefer to go into one of them, obviously you've seen the screenshot on the screen. I will probably leave it another screenshot on the screen round about now so you can obviously see what it does look like okay and moving on to the next one the precision uh, which is an option that has been added to races when active every player in a race is presented with a bar that fills at different speeds depending on which position the player is in when this option is enabled in a lap race the race ends when one player has completely filled their bar in a point-to-point -point, uh, race, the player with the most filled bar at the end of the race will be the winner. Okay, it's a little feature that you might want to obviously enable if you do prefer in the stunt races or normal races. This is just a random uh, thing that you could use. Uh, which is better than actually racing all the way to the finish line. So if you do want to check that out, it will leave. Um, there will be uh, obviously uh, functionality in them available right now. If you do prefer, I will obviously if I can leave a screenshot, but I probably can't because I'm not able to get the copy of this screenshot. But you'll see more of that in the live stream which is coming out really really soon if you want to check out the live stream then you can go down in the comment section down below and you can add your gamer tag which will be happening in about four or five hours from now do not and i mean do not forget about that if you do want to continue and you do want to obviously see the live stream or you know, be a part of the live stream leave your comment down in the comment section down below of your gamer tag on xbox one and i'm sure to add you into that um, live stream okay so let's move on now um, the changes has been made to the Dynasty 8 exclusive website players are now presented with a button that reads add second garage floor add third garage floor add custom auto shop when attempting to buy any of these items 
Previously, players had to check a small box to add these in the total, which is a good little feature right there. I'm glad they slightly sorted that out. It was a little bit of a mess uh, when actually uh, buying it off his garage, which now is even better. Thank you, Rockstar, for that little added little feature right there. Okay, let's move on. Heist vehicles and now have a buy it now option. This option is similar to that was offered with the import and export speed special vehicles. If a player do not want to complete each vehicle's heist and wish to buy the vehicles immediately, they can use the new buy it now option and the purchase of the vehicle at an increased price. Okay, so obviously it would be really, really expensive if you do prefer to want to go out and buy it. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to get a screenshot of this just because, again, I've already bought every single vehicle and obviously done every single heist. So obviously it will be different to mine to yours if you haven't done that specific heist. But it will be an increased price, so just bearing in mind it will be really, really expensive. Okay, so I'm just going to give you uh, the following vehicles. I'm just going to give you a little um, snippet of what's coming up, really, really, what's what's available um, to buy now. Obviously, I won't obviously um, include every single vehicle, but you get the idea, really, what's came out in the heist update. Okay, so. The Armoured Karuma, the Karuma, normal, the uh, Prison Bus, the Hydra, the Insurgent, the Insurgent Pickup, the Dinghy, the Current Technical, the Mule, the Savage, and much, much more. Um, obviously you get the idea what's been added and everything else if you do want to obviously buy these vehicles you would be able to buy them from the war stop cash and carry and also the legacy motorsports and the other websites as well to be able to buy these vehicles okay the highest equipment is now no longer locked by a requirement of com completing each item relevant heist this includes the following gear available to purchase at ammunition the rebreathers the night vision and the lcd earpiece okay so all these vehicle all, all these vehicles all these equipment is now available to buy at any time with no lock requirements so you don't have to do a heist now to be able to unlock these specific items the following vehicles are no longer locked behind a, a rank requirements. Okay, so that's the tank, the buzzard helicopter, and the dubster 6x6, which is a brilliant, brilliant idea from Rockstar right there. I'm glad they actually added uh, ability to actually add um, the no rank requirement right there, which is good. I'm glad there's no uh, rank requirements. Obviously, if you are rank one and you want to buy a tank, which if you have money for a tank, a tank right there, then whew, I'd be really, really surprised. But anyway, if you do have money uh, for at rank one, you can obviously go out and go and buy a tank from now on. Okay, let's move on. The camera, when riding with the Blazer Aqua, now remains whatever it is set to before going in water. Previously the camera was forced to change into third person from first person when going into water. So that's brilliant right there, so if you are in first person and you go into water you can now obviously stay in first person and you'll actually be able to continue with first person which is a great great idea right there. Okay let's move on. The amount of stunt series triggers has been reduced from 8 to 3, which is good, I guess. Uh, the secondary checkpoints in the stunt races are now yellow. These were previously orange. Let's move on. A new parachute option can be found within the Ruiner 2000 Special Race lobbies. 
that lets players choose the Runa 2000 parachute. These new parachutes cannot be applied to the personal vehicle Runa 2000s and are only available with stock Runa 2000 made available in the special races. Which it's good in a way, but because I've got a Runa 2000 as a personal vehicle, I think this is absolutely disgusting and I think it should be available for everyone. Uh, not just limited to the stock vehicles. I mean, I want to be able to add my own parachute to it, but obviously, thank you very much, Rockstar, for only adding it to one specific one and not them all, which is a little bit stupid if you ask me. But, well, that is Rockstar right there. If you do have any comments and questions about that, please leave them down in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear them. Let's rant about uh, Rockstar, I guess. But anyway, let's move on about ranting. A new no livery option has been added to the livery selection of the car selection screen in races. So that's another great feature right there. So if you want no livery on a vehicle, uh, you'll be able to select no livery on that vehicle right now. Which is a good, good idea from Rockstar right there. And obviously the weekly active time trial update now occurs every Tuesday. This was previously updated every Monday, which is okay, I guess. And players can now change the color of the prop in the creator with L1, R1 on PS4, or LB and RB on Xbox One. So if you do wish to change the color of the prop, you can now do it with the Pacific buttons on the controller and that is typically it with all the features and hidden details what's going on in Grand Theft Auto Online right now if you do go on to like this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff I've got another couple of more videos coming out really really soon so don't 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 wait for that out for them ones gonna be great great videos coming out really really soon and Obviously, if Rockstar does release any more updates or anything like that, be sure to update you guys as soon as possible. As I said, don't forget to go over to Sad Puppy if you do wish to prefer. I will leave a little clip on the screen if you do like his content or his music. Uh, and that's typically it in this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our brand new community. And yeah, I'm out. I'm GTA Swift Gamer. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye!